Hi, my name's Cameron Reynolds. Hi, my name's Judge Burgess, and we're going to be teaching you about uh, torque converters in automotive transmissions. To understand the basic operation of a torque converter, you first have to understand how a fluid coupling works. In this example, the fluid coupling is represented by each fan, and the fluid is represented by the air. As you can see, the air transmits the force from one fan to the blades of the other fan. This example loses a lot of air in the surrounding area and becomes inefficient. The fluid, the fluid coupling transmits drive from one coupling to another at a maximum ratio of one to one. The torque converter multiplies torque by using different fin arrangements and by changing the fluid flow. These are the main parts of a torque converter. We have our impeller and the fins. Here we have a stator with a one-way clutch. Here's our turbine. This is the torque converter clutch or lock-up clutch. And the hard cover. The impeller side of the torque converter is mounted to the flex plate. This is driven by the engine. The torque converter is uh, mounted on to the input shaft of the gearbox. The one-way clutch in a torque converter is found in the stator. This prevents the stator from turning backwards when fluid pressures are applied against it. These grip onto the shaft and stop it from turning backwards. Centrifugal force forces fluid to the outer edge of the impeller into the outer edge of the turbine and then forced on an angle to the center. As you can see the blades are smaller which gives it a higher pressure when it, and then it gets pushed onto the stator. Fluid from the center of the turbine is thrown into the stator and is changed direction due to the sharp angled fins and then flows into the centre of the impeller and that's it. Yeah, yeah, how you like that? <laughs>